Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've never seen me before, my name is Lauren and I cover random things that I find interesting on the internet. If you hear my dog huffing in the background, I'm sorry, we just got back from a run. That's why I kind of look crazy. We're trying to get this video out for y'all. So if you haven't been on Twitter today, let me catch you up. So there have been some allegations against Ava Chris Tyson, which is Chris from, sorry if that's their dead name, from Mr. Beast. I'm not trying to offend anyone, I'm just trying to spread this information. The pair was allegedly introduced after the child won an online competition. At that time, Tyson was 20 and known as their YouTube fans as Chris because they had not transitioned yet. It's said in a Daily Mail article that they spent years communicating with the fan on public online forums before meeting with the teen when they turned 16. Whoa. The fan Fan who is now an adult says they were not a victim and has defended Tyson, but has admitted to some of the messages were inappropriate and edgy. Nice. What does that sound like? Uh who did we just talk about a couple weeks ago? Since all this has come out, a lot of big YouTubers, they've been creating exposés, exposed type videos. Sunny V2 kind of hinted, not hinted, but he, you know, he made a video like two years ago or a year ago about Chris. And another issue a lot of people are having is that there are multiple posts showing that Ava was interacting with a shade man, an artist known for drawing young characters in sexual poses, which there is a term used for this word. I'm gonna pop it up somewhere on the screen because I don't know if I can say that on YouTube and we're trying to get monetized here. We're trying to grow, but it's this word right here. In an older post, he begged shade man to draw a 10 year old anime girl in his style, which is, Mm, that style. So that's a very general recap that I have, but we're gonna go on to Twitter and we're gonna look at everyone's responses, videos, we're gonna look at everything. So this was Ava's response. A couple hours ago, I wanted to wait to make this video. I saw all the allegations, but I wanted to wait till they responded. This is Ava's tweet addressing all the accusations. I would like to apologize for any of my past behaviors or comments if it has hurt and offended anyone. It was not my intention. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. They posted that around 2.30 in the afternoon. 45 minutes ago, they posted some more stuff. I want to add, I had never groomed anyone. This person who is brought up in the accusations is Lava GS. I can't believe he added her. I didn't even know he added her. Has vocally supported that they are false. Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I've hurt on my unacceptable social media posts, post actions, and to those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. I do not want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I've stepped away. So that was Ava's tweet, basically confirming everything that's happened, that they did have an inappropriate relationship. There was edgy jokes with this person. Even if they claimed that they're not groomed, it's still wrong. He was still talking to a minor. She was 13 and he was 20. He should know better. He was an adult. You don't talk to children on the internet. You stay away from them like the plague. I'm glad they're owning up to their past actions, but it doesn't change anything. The facts are still that he was talking to a minor, and it's sad to see that somebody that I had publicly supported and defended. And this was Face Bank's response to all this. It's pretty clear that Chris Tyson has been a fucking weirdo with little kids. It's the grossest thing a human could be guilted of. Interesting seeing how quiet the timeline is about this, considering how loud everyone was regarding Dr. Disrespect. Interesting, I wonder why. I just want to put my two cents out there. Both Ava Chris and Dr. Disrespect were talking inappropriately to minors. That is wrong. They should step away. They need to step away. They should not have a platform. Don't need to be on the internet. A lot of people were having outcries on the internet because a lot of bigger content creators, streamers, they all had their two cents to say about Dr. Disrespect and all the wrong that he did. But whenever it's related to Mr. Beast or Tyson, a lot of them don't say probably what's on their mind because I think it's related to Mr. Beast and they want to stay in the good standings of the literal biggest YouTuber on this platform. This is Pokemon's response to the allegations. I don't know all the details regarding the Ava situation, but I want to make it clear. Any inappropriate behavior towards minors is unacceptable, regardless of who you are. That's my stance. Any inappropriate behavior towards minors is unacceptable. Pokimane also said, it's a shame that people will see this as an opportunity to attack the trans community as a whole. One person's actions does not reflect on every single trans person. Please do not view this that way. There's also a video going around from a ex Mr. Beast employee. We do not have 100% confirmation if that is true because they have not responded to any questions. 
but they posted this video talking about Ava. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wah, 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 wah. That right, hold on, let me turn off the music. I'm outside Mr. B's studio right now. Here's a cornfield, I'll explain that tomorrow. Um, I've just been driving by looking uh, to, to see, you know, is there an FBI raid going on? What's happening? My name is Dawson. I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson, is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. And when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. Amazon, if you can get your money back, get your money back. It's crazy to see all the stuff that's coming to light. Just scrolling on Twitter, Ava, there are people saying that they have texts from them using Homelander, more texts. I think that's the same one. Obviously people talking about it. I hate Sneeko. He can go fuck himself. I'm gonna need 2024 to stop because my bingo card can't get any more weird. I don't like where this is heading. Please stop. With all that being said, please tell me how you feel in the comments. If you've made it this far, please subscribe. I'll send you a cookie i swear do you believe that ava should be facing a harsher punishment because to me it just seems like they could just get to wash their hands and say i'm done with social media i'll see y'all later we have not gotten a response back from mr b so just let me know in the comments and i'll see y'all for the next video bye guys